<laughs> more changes are coming to I-43. Yeah, you grab some ap aspirin, maybe a little ibuprofen, because this time, you ready for this? It's a long-term ramp closure. Christina Benzel is live with the detour starting tomorrow night. Spill the beans, Christina. We're waiting for it. We're braced. <laughs> Uh, I know I'm sorry to bring you this news, but this closure is scheduled to start tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Now this involves the southbound ramps getting on and off to I-43 here at Brown Deer Road. Now we caught up with some drivers today about just this construction and they tell us that this can get quite confusing. When you hop into your car and drive the same route every day, you'd think it'd get repetitive but that can't be said if your route includes I-43. You know, you have to weave and bob a little bit. And it just extends the trip you know, a couple minutes, but you know, it's kind of a hassle. Drivers say every day it's a toss up if they can exit or enter a ramp along the freeway stretch from Silver Spring Drive in Glendale to Highway 60 in Grafton. Oftentimes, you know, you miss your, your uh, exit and then you're, <laughs> you're on a ride for a while. This time, it's the southbound on and off ramps at Brown Deer Road. This week, the ramps will be closed to construct a new diverging diamond interchange. Yeah, good luck if you miss that one, too. <laughs> the Wisconsin Department of Transportation says this type of interchange increases capacity and safety and helps with congestion. And it feels like it changes pretty frequently, like where I'm actually supposed to be going. So if this impacts you, here are your alternate routes. Instead of the southbound Brown Deer Road exit ramp, you can get off at Port Washington Road. To get onto the interstate, the DOT recommends getting on at Good Hope. Wish we could get some more ramps open before we keep closing them down. If anything, buckle up because the construction isn't slowing down. And I know this can be confusing, so just to make it simple again, this closure will start Wednesday at 8 o'clock tomorrow night, and it'll last about three months. Now, we do have the project linked to our website so that you can keep up with these construction updates. To see that, just head to fox6now.com. Reporting live in Brown Deer, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. I'm going to be taking cliff notes because, you know, as a second shifter, I, I got caught in this last night. It's drama. Thank you for the breakdown, Christina. You made it easy. Kind of easy.